Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Since it's the new year, I think it's time again to decorate or customize our laptop wallpaper. So for today's video, I will share with you a different way to customize your laptop wallpaper. And with that, let's get now into the video. So first step is to open Canva and click on the create a design button. For the size, just choose or just type 1920 by 1080 megapixels. It's either you can search for a laptop wallpaper on the design tab, but for now, let's let's create a new design. So let's go first to Pinterest and we can search for a 2024 calendar. So it depends on the theme that you want. So I want to achieve this calendar style to our wallpaper. So it depends on the theme that you want. You can either choose a design or a picture here on Pinterest. But on this video, I will show you how to make it. First is go to the design tab and search for a 2024 calendar. So once you choose a design, you can now modify the calendar. So here I'm just changing their fonts and their font sizes and deleting some of the unnecessary elements or the elements that I don't need. And in here, I'm just changing the month texts. So it depends on you if you want to modify the calendar template. And here, I chose this paint roller icon so I can easily paste the design that I want to the other texts. Then adjust their placing and compress them a bit so we will have more space to the other elements that we will add on our calendar. Then you can go to the Elements tab and search for some elements that you want to incorporate to your calendar. So here I just chose this circle frame. For the background, I decided to add some gradient. You can choose whatever you want, but in this case, I choose this peach red color. And here you can also change the colors. Next is to add it to the back or adjust the arrangement. And you can also change the transparency. Next is you can also add a background color. So here I just chose a beige color. Next, let's go back to Pinterest and search for some photos. But in here I chose, I typed beige icons then save some images that i will use on the wallpaper so after you choose a bunch of photos like 12 photos upload it to canva and click on the photo next is if you're a pro user you can use the background remover option but if you're not a Canva Pro user, you can search on the net some background remover websites which are free and after that just save the photo and upload it here on Canva. After removing the background, we can adjust its size and just repeat the process to all the months. Then here I'm just modifying some of the elements. So here I decided to make the background for the calendar transparent. So I'm just gonna choose or I'm just gonna click this specific row and then apply a transparent background. Then added a border below the text like so. Then change the color. You can also change the thickness depending on the style of your wallpaper. Then in here, I'm just editing the sizes and their placing so it will fit perfectly and they will look balanced. After that, you can search for some shapes. So in here, I chose this rounded corner square shape. This is optional, but I'd like to add this. So I will just choose a white background color and adjust its transparency. Place it to the back, adjust the size, and here I'm just modifying their placements. So I will just do a summary in here because I do not know where the clips went. So here I'm just editing the font styles. 
And here I added this daily reminder area. I also applied the square shape as a background. And here there is an area for my softwares where you can add the apps or the software you downloaded. And you can also rename this to university or miscellaneous, etc. And beside that, I added some photos. But this is optional. You can either extend the area for the softwares or you can add a specific photo i also adjust its transparency so it will fit to the vibe of the whole wallpaper then you can view it in an expand manner so you can check if the texts or the numbers are still visible and if they are big enough so you can see it and once you're happy or satisfied with how it looks you can now save it to your device save it as a png and you can change your wallpaper you can now change your wallpaper by going to your settings and browse your photo and click on the image you saved from canva and this is the result so if you want to have a copy of this you can go click on the link below so i saved it on a google drive link or you can customize your own by editing this template so you can just click on it and open your canva but since i choose a remove background feature for free canva users maybe i'm not sure but maybe you cannot save the wallpaper but again you can try it or you can make your own wallpaper and follow the steps i shared with you in this video and with that, thank you so much guys for watching. See you on my next video. Bye guys!